What's good YouTube? I'm back with another reaction video. No. The last reaction video I did was a fucking banger, bro. It was a banger. I swear to God, bro. But it ended up, um, the recording ended up stopping because, um, I didn't have an external drive. So I just got an external drive. So all my stuff for my um, reactions and stuff like that is going to go on here. Hella storage. So I'm not going to have to face none of that issues and shit like that. But today we got Bank Teller tells poor shame black customer instantly regrets it. Let's go ahead and react to it. Hey guys, I'm super excited for you to watch today's video, but first I wanted to let you know some really exciting Shout out Flights for giving me the um, video idea. News that the Darman Studios behind the scenes YouTube channel is officially live. I've been asking you guys what you want to see more of and I've been reading in the comments and everyone's like, they want to meet the cast, they want to meet the crew, they want to see what happens behind the scenes. So now you can experience all of that through our new YouTube channel. Go ahead and check it out. The link is down in the description. Plus, I'm going to be doing some really awesome giveaways for those that subscribe so you don't want to miss. You work at DM Capital. Yes. Would you like to see my driver's license? Oh, no. Don't worry about it. There you go. Have a nice day. Okay, she was nice to the white nigga. Let's see the black nigga coming in. Good afternoon. He look professional. To make a deposit. Pause. Oh, um, this is for business clientele. The regular line is out there. I'm in the right spot. <laughs> I just left the gym. Anyways. Damn, nigga. You can make a deposit. I feel like if he had a suit or some shit, or a suit or a tie, they would fuck with him, probably. Oh, where on earth did you get this much cash? From that shouldn't business. be a question, like, from your, yeah, from his business. You shouldn't be asking, like, Before where'd you get this cash from? Fucking Karen. Further, I need to see some ID. Didn't ask the white nigga all these questions, but asked the black nigga this question. That's crazy. Is this really you? Yes, it's really me. I need to see another form of ID. What for? This is the first time I've ever been asked that. Well, according to bank rules, I have the right to ask if I suspect any suspicious activity. Suspicious activity? <laughs> you know what? Never mind. This is my college ID. That should work. Stanford? You really expect me to believe that you went to Stanford? This is a fake ID. Now I need to see Whoa. a passport or something more official. Why would I carry a passport to the bank? Oh, you want to be a smart guy. Mary, can you come in here, please? Wow, this is crazy. Does this look real to you? Uh, yeah, that's definitely real. Okay, thanks. I need to count this. Okay. Oh. <clears throat> I'd like to deposit this too. Twenty thousand dollars. Seriously? What are you doing with this kind of money? It's not any of your business. This is from exactly. DM Capital. You really expect me to believe that you work there? This is a fraudulent check, isn't it? You're more than welcome to call the company and confirm yourself. God, you probably don't even have a. He know his shit. Why don't I he know his shit. Instead. You know what? I had enough of this. Just give me my cash and check so I can go. Security. Is everything okay? No, it's not. This man gave me a fake ID, lied about his job, and now he's trying to deposit a fraudulent check. More like she's stereotyping me while I'm just trying to make a simple transaction. Oh, you people are so typical. Always using race as your get out of jail free card. I know a crook when I see one. You know, everything that you just said could not be further from the truth. You see, you said I didn't go to college, but the truth is, not only did I go to one of the most mm. prestigious schools in the country, I also graduated at the top of my class. I even started my own little company after graduation. Let me tell y'all something. Now I'm starting to understand why, like, back then, like, my mom wanted me to, like, have low hair and just certain stuff like that. Because it's like, 
the stereotype on us black people is real. Like it's it's dead ass real. So it's like they look at us a certain way. If you have dreads, if you have naps like I have, curls, whatever, whatever it is, they look at it a certain way. Eyebrow cuts, they look at it as this stereotype, a negative stereotype. So it's like you gonna go through this. So I'm saying so that's why like people who are rich. The black people who are rich and successful, they wear suits and ties. Anytime LeBron is not on the court, half of the time I be seeing him with suits. You know what I'm saying? Low haircut. You know what I'm saying? And they don't look at him as no regular nigga. You know what I'm saying? But like, if you like me or like any other regular nigga, there's a stereotype behind you. So they automatically think you up to something suspicious when you're not. You're just working hard. You know what I'm saying? But that's just how life is. Can't do shit about it. company turned into a really big company. And now it's one of the most successful financial institutions in our city today. So you see, never judge a book by its cover. Because I'm not only an employee for DM Capital. I'm the CEO. <laughs> you expect for us to believe that. Get him out of here. Her ass need to be fired. You can tell he's a liar. What if he's telling the truth? Maybe you should call the number of the company just to be sure. Okay, fine. Hi, yeah, this is Karen from World City Bank. I have someone here who's trying to cash a fraudulent check. Can you transfer me to the owner, please? Thanks. See, you're calling me. She feels stupid as fuck. I don't understand. Mr. Moore. John, good to see you. Sir, you know this guy? Yes, this is Daniel. Daniel Moore, owner of DM Capital. Our biggest client. She feels stupid as this fuck. Guy. Bitch, fire that, like fire that bitch. Client. Fire that bitch. Yes. Fire that bitch. She's racist as fuck. Everything all right here? No, John. Everything is not okay. You see, Karen here just stereotyped me because of the way that I looked. You what? Fire hey, that bitch. Can you blame me? Just look at him. Wow. You should know better than I feel like that's how half of these these Karen's are. I ain't gonna say white people because not all white people are racist, but I feel like half of these Karens are like this. Ever just look at him. So half of these Karens are. Mr. Moore, I am so sorry. I assure you this will never happen again. Because Karen here is fired. Is fired. Bitch. What? Fired? Yes, you are. No, you can't do that. I just did. Will you make sure she gets all of her things? And Mr. Moore, I would love to assist you in my private office. Please follow me. Thank you. I'm innocent. Eat it. Man. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, man. Like, subscribe, comment if you're new. I'm about to be reacting to more videos on this channel. This shit is interesting, man. But hopefully I enjoy, man. Love y'all. I'm out.